We are following breaking news out of Bethel Heights tonight. A Benton County prosecutor is prepared to arrest those in connection to the city's wastewater treatment facility. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Pignate. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. KWA has just obtained a letter from Benton County prosecuting attorney Nathan Smith written to Mayor Cynthia Black. In the letter, Smith says he has seen evidence of wastewater with high levels of fecal coliform flowing from the plant onto people's property. He's giving Bethel Heights 30 days from today to stop the runoff and implement a cleanup strategy. Smith wrote, quote, failure to comply with the requirements of the law will result in this office pursuing criminal charges against any city officials responsible for the violation of the Water and Air Pollution Control Act, end quote. Smith says this crime could lead to five years in prison and a $50,000 fine. Mayor Cynthia Black released a statement earlier this week on the matter. She states, quote, our city denies all claims of the dumping or flooding of the raw sewer to any resident's property or ponds. KNWA is trying to get in touch with Black about this latest development. For more, tune in tonight at 6. You'll be able to buy beer and wine at Razorback football games starting this upcoming season. A lot of fans excited about this. Since 2014, alcohol has only been sold in suites and private club areas. KNWA's Lauren Craycaw joins us live from Donald W. Reynolds Stadium. Lauren, what kind of reaction are you hearing from fans right now? Chad, Jennifer, beginning with the 2019 season, fans can now buy alcohol at this stadium. University of Arkansas Athletic Director Hunter Yurichek says this expanded service comes after changes in the SEC policy regarding alcohol. New policies allow each school to make their own decision on whether to sell alcohol at their stadiums. Yurichek says selling alcohol at the stadium could drive up ticket sales. I think it enhances the fan experience of many of our fans who it will be their choice to uh, have an alcohol beverage while they're watching the Razorbacks play. I think especially if you're 21 years of age to be able to drink, I think a lot of fans will come out to the game. Eurocheck says schools who sell other alcohol in their venues have seen two positives from this, one being an increase of revenue from ticket sales and the other being a decrease in alcohol-related instances within their stadium. Tune in tonight at KNWA News at 6 to hear from more fans who react to know that they can now get alcohol at this stadium. Live in Fayetteville, Lauren Craycall, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. You saw this story first on our KNWA News app. That's where we have the most up-to-date information on the stories you care the most about. If you haven't yet, be sure you download it. You can choose which notifications you get from top stories to sports or national alerts as well. The app is free in the App Store and on Google Play. The world's largest retailer teaming up with a local high school to train teachers on Agile. Agile is a popular method in software development used by many Fortune 500 tech companies. The communications team from Walmart met with the Springdale High School business students and teachers to teach them the ins and outs of the method. Shannon Green, a business teacher at Springdale High, says implementing Agile into classrooms will prepare students for internships with those companies. Many times I have gone into different meetings with Walmart and Tyson and J.B. Hunt and I've heard this term um, about how they use this methodology to develop software and so we have a lot of kids that do internships at these companies and so I feel like it's important that they know these terms when they're going out into working in these companies. This was the first time Walmart leaders have taught the program and hope to continue teaching it to the community in the future. Choosing a college major can make a bigger impact on how much you earn in your career than deciding actually which school you should attend. A report by financial news site Payscale ranks the highest paying majors for bachelor's degrees. At the top is petroleum engineering with an average early pay of $82,700. Not bad. That's followed by operations and research and industrial engineers, actuaries, chemical and biomolecular engineering, and then public accounting. School is just weak Weeks away and local districts are in need of bus drivers. Driver recruitment and retention is a challenge for many large school districts. Bentonville Schools is looking to change that with benefits like health care and a starting pay of almost $16 an hour. School district leaders say this is an ideal job for those looking for some extra income and an open schedule. You do not need a CDL or experience to apply. Looking ahead to the weekend, one local organization is holding a school supply drive to help children in need. 
United Way is hosting its Fill the Bus campaign to collect school supplies for kids. The goal is to make sure every child has the tools they need to be successful in the classroom, regardless of their backgrounds and situations. It's a lot harder to learn and a lot harder to focus in, in the classroom uh, when you don't feel like you're well equipped, when you don't feel like that you're on a level playing field with your, with your fellow classmates. You can drop items off tomorrow and Saturday at several Walmart Supercenter locations. Visit our website to find participating counties. Also happening this weekend, items such as clothing, shoes, and school supplies will be exempt from state and local taxes. That means people in Arkansas can save about 9% on purchases. Arkansas's tax-free weekend runs this Saturday and Sunday. A local coffee shop back open today after a car crashed into that building months ago. All new at 5, Baba Boudin's coffee shop opened its doors this morning. Back in March, a car smashed into the shop's center block wall, causing the wall to collapse. You can see uh, the moment right there on your screen, cracking the roof and injuring several people inside. After months of construction and renovations, co-owner Jennifer Summers is happy to let people enjoy her coffee once again. Thanks to everybody that, you know, contributed to our GoFundMe and people that have come and helped me and people that brought us food in the beginning and just thanks to the community. It's good to get back to work. Come on down. <laughs> We're open. <laughs> Baba Boudin's coffee shop has been in Fayetteville for more than 20 years and hopes to be in business for 20 more. In more local news, 800 golfers will take to the Kingswood Golf Course in Bella Vista for child cancer awareness. The 26th annual Will Golf for Kids event raises money for Arkansas Children's Northwest. It's a competitive couple of days as golfers and sponsors alike putt for prizes in support of pediatric cancer awareness, treatment, and research. Michael Sewell with the Golf for Kids tournament says it's the perfect event leading up to the Color of Hope Gala. We really appreciate everyone's support. Um, having Arkansas Children's Northwest is really, really important to the community, and having care close to home is the reason we all do what we do. And it's a privilege to have a wonderful committee uh, on the Color of Hope side as well as the Will Golf for Kids um, to make this happen. The Will Golf for Kids event, along with the Color of Hope Gala, has helped raise more than $18 million over the years. And this year's Color Hope Gala supports Arkansas Children's Northwest with four-year-old Tori Johnson in the spotlight as this year's champion child. And she is so inspiring. Mm. Chelsea Helms from our sister station, Fox 24, introduces you to Tori, who is inspiring others to fight a good fight in her Give Kids a Miracle report. You can find that story right now on our website, nwahomepage.com. That one's definitely worth a watch. The Salem Springs Fire Department celebrated the grand opening of its brand new fire training facility. Check it out. The new location, firefighters can now practice putting out flames as well as techniques like rescues and using ropes to come down the side of buildings. The public was invited out this morning for tours and live demonstrations. For the past 18 years now, crews have had to actually travel to other cities like Lincoln for training. Salem Springs Fire Chief Jeremy Kreiner says having the tower so close to home is convenient and exciting for everyone. This is extremely convenient for us. Being right here in, in town, uh, here close to our, our main headquarters station, allows us just uh, the convenience of coming in here and, and training on this versatile tower is going to just be great for us. The $800,000 facility was paid for by a tax voters approved in 2013. Oh, we've got an important alert for all you parents out there. What products are being pulled from store shelves plus? You're going to take the backpack, you yank it over the back of your head, you're covering your vital organs. A closer look at bulletproof backpacks giving kids an extra layer of protection. But first, a look at your weather with Dan, and we could see some rain in the next few days. Yeah, we already saw a little bit this morning. You might want to have that umbrella for protection from the rain, as we will be seeing more rain expected overnight tonight and even into your weekend. I'll have that latest hour-by-hour -hour forecast coming up after the break. You're watching KNWA News at 5 with Jennifer Pinate, Chad Mira, and Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. Park Hill Clinic, specializing in total health care for women for over 50 years. Dinosaurs come alive. The largest, most realistic, with over 50 moving, breathing dinosaurs. Fun and activities for the whole family. This Saturday and Sunday, Fort Smith, K. Rogers Park. Free parking. Visit MyJurassicAdventure.com. 
Are you experiencing numbness and tingling in your hands and feet? Burning sensations in your arms and legs? Finally, a cutting-edge program now in this area with a natural solution. Utilizing NASA-inspired technology, a non-surgical treatment successfully treats peripheral neuropathy, focusing on helping your nerves to heal, not just mask the pain. Doesn't require numerous trips to doctor's office or bags of prescription drugs. Get the relief you so desperately need. Call Dr. Freeman at 479-751-0190. Got land? Let's build. At Southwest Homes, we make it easy. Prior to Southwest Homes, we visited with about 17 different home builders. We went with Southwest Homes because they helped us to understand the home building process. They were with us through the whole step of the way, which has meant a lot to us. They came out and just they just took care of us. We knew this was going to be a lifetime investment. We were making sure who we could uh, trust and go with. I'm often asked, how much does it cost to hire a lawyer? At Cadell Rentals, we never charge anything up front. We'll talk with you for free and answer your questions. In fact, on injury, disability, and lost wage claims, we don't get paid unless we handle your case successfully. If you have questions you would like to ask one of our lawyers, call Cadell Rentals. We're here for you. Call Cadell Rentals at 800-671-4100. Make the right call. It's back to school time at Pigtails and Crew Cuts. Come in for the best haircuts, hair accessories, ear piercing, and gifts galore. At Pigtails and Crew Cuts, we love our customers. See you soon. Friday on KNWA Today, everything you need to know about the tax-free holiday in Arkansas. Plus, how you can help children in need succeed in the classroom. It's a wet start to your Friday, plus a look at morning rush hour. Now, your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. A little bit of rain to start off your Thursday morning, and the rain did clear out. The radar is clear now, but more rain is on the way. Now, the rain totals weren't very impressive. About two tenths of an inch here and there, three tenths of an inch almost at X and A. And we work our way south, and a lot less rain, but it still rained in the River Valley, two one hundredths of an inch, and about thirty four hundredths of an inch in Russellville. But there's a lot more where this came from. So this is a look at the satellite and radar this morning, showing you the shower and thunderstorm activity. Now, there weren't many thunderstorms in the area. You didn't hear many rumbles of thunder, but just to our north, you've got to see this. Last night into this morning, training showers and thunderstorms just west of Kansas City, and you can see all how all of those thunderstorms kind of followed the same path. That's what we call training, and when we look at the rain totals, they are staggering. There were flash flood warnings all over the place, and you can see a bullseye of heavy rain, 11 inches plus. That was just overnight last night, causing tremendous flooding in eastern Kansas. So because of the potential with this weather pattern and bringing the potential for heavy rain, a flash flood watch has been issued, and it does include a few counties in northwest Arkansas. Benton, Washington, Crawford, as well as Sebastian County in eastern Oklahoma. You got Delaware, Adair, Sequoia, and LaFleur. Floor, and in southwest Missouri, uh, McDonald and Barry County. All of that goes until late Saturday evening. And you'll notice when we look at the excessive rainfall forecast overnight tonight, once again, it looks like eastern Kansas is going to get hammered with heavy rain potential. But as we move into Friday and Saturday morning, you can see that heavy rain excessive forecast showing a moderate level. That's a level three out of four. And then Saturday into Sunday, we still have the potential for heavy rain and flash. Flooding. So we're going to show you the future radar, but it appears at this point the bullseye of the heaviest rain might be in northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, and we're right on the eastern edge of the heaviest rain potential. Now keep in mind this can shift just a little bit to the east, a little bit to the west, so it's still a little bit uncertain as to exactly where the heaviest rain will develop. But why are the thunderstorms going to move in overnight tonight? You got to know it's northwest flow, and those showers and storms are going to be drifting in from Kansas, where they are currently popping up, and you'll notice how they're dropping southeast into our area. And the future track shows this, by the way. Overnight tonight, showers and storms developing in Kansas and then moving into our area by Friday morning. I hope it's dry for Will Golf for Kids, but I think we're going to be ducking and dodging some showers, perhaps thunderstorms as they start to move in. Now, during the afternoon, the rain chances will start drying up.
as we move into Friday night, the rain is going to redevelop to the north, and then we've got additional rain coming in on Saturday. If you want to know the exact timing of this, you can see Friday morning, rain chances popping up to about 70% as that widespread rain moves in. We get a break during the afternoon, similar to what we saw today and redevelopment on Saturday, especially during the morning hours. But get out now. It is a beautiful afternoon. Lower 80s and dew points are in the upper 60s, so it's a bit on the muggy side. We got temperatures climbing above the 70s into the lower 80s. Look at Tulsa at 92, so a lot of fuel for these thunderstorms to develop. Now, I know you're wondering about the weekend and trying to make those weekend plans, and you'll notice that this future track shows quite a bit of rain moving in for your Saturday morning, perhaps lasting into Saturday afternoon. Temperatures trying to get out of the 70s will have trouble doing that, and a lot of the thunderstorm activity dissipates as we move into Saturday night. Sunday, a little less rain and thunderstorm activity and uh, so the second half of the weekend looks a lot better on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we got temperatures climbing. We get close to 90 degrees, and then we have a slight chance of rain Tuesday through Thursday with little isolated pop-up storms. But definitely the next couple of days, Jennifer and Chad, you'll need the rain gear. We will have that potential for flash flooding, so we'll keep you updated. Download our Weather Authority app. Yeah, I don't know how many holes we're going to get in tomorrow morning uh, on this golf tournament, huh? I know. I really hope, uh, <laughs> hope the weatherman's wrong. Huh, yeah, let's one. hope so. <laughs> Let's hope he is this time, right? <laughs> right? That it shifts to the west. That's a possibility. So. It could All right, happen. I'm hoping. I'm just saying my prayers. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, thank you. You're welcome. Happening now, you can kick off football season a little early in Fayetteville. The city's annual first Thursday event happening on the downtown square. This month's theme, tailgating. There's live music, street performances, a water slide, food trucks, and even a craft beer garden something for everyone. You still have time to check it out because the family-friendly event is free and runs until 8.30 tonight. Dog owners, listen up. Don't give your dog pig ear treats. We'll explain why next. Lewis Automotive Group is proud to sponsor KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. New ice cream cookie sandwiches from Sonic. Delicious cookies and real ice cream are on a summer reunion tour. They taste so good live. Hurry in for Sonic Nights. New 149 ice cream cookie sandwiches and half price shakes after 8. Folks, it's inventory adjustment time at Hank's, and we're going to clean up this overstocked warehouse. You will find bargain prices throughout the store on excess inventory, closeouts, and floor samples. The selection is great. Quantities are limited. All items offered, first come, first serve. Huge discounts plus your sales tax paid at Hank's Fine Furniture. When you build with Schubert Mitchell Homes, you get more than an all-brick home with a warranty you can count on. Our top brand products and high-end finishings transform functional space into upscale living at a price you can afford. Call today to start the home you've been dreaming of. It takes nearly five seconds to read the average text. Behind the wheel, you may go an entire city block. On the interstate, you could travel over 100 yards. If you were injured by a distracted driver, call Taylor King Law at 1-800-CAR-RED. We'll be on your side, by your side. My feet hurt so bad in the morning, I couldn't even put my feet on the floor. So I had to start engineering my own arch support. So I got that, then I put this in there, this one. Finally, before I added another one of these in, I went to Good Feet, and they gave me this. So I built all this together to engineer a solution to my pain. And if I'd have just gone to Good Feet, I'd have been better off in the first place. Good Feet Arch Supports, engineered for pain relief, personally fitted for you. KNWA is proud to serve Northwest Arkansas by working with hundreds of local charities and organizations. It's what we believe and part of what we do every day. KNWA, celebrating 15 years of serving Northwest Arkansas. I'm really getting a vacation vibe off of this mocktail slot. This has transported me to some peaceful beach. We needed to get away. From what? From that parking space. Oh, yeah, we were there last week. Oh, week! Get them while you can. New mocktail slushes like Pina Colada. You're watching KNWA News at 5. A warning for parents. Two infant sleepers being recalled after similar products have resulted in death. Durrell Juvenile Group USA is recalling 24,000 infant sleepers due to safety concerns. 
The recall involves the Eddie Bauer slumber and soothe bassinets and the Disney baby doze and dream bassinets. The sleepers were sold nationwide at stores like Target, Kmart, and TJ Maxx. No injuries have been reported with these products, but if you have one, you're asked to stop using it and contact the manufacturer for a refund. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration are asking you to avoid pig ear treats and for retailers to stop selling them. Public health officials have been investigating a multi-state outbreak of human salmonella infections connected to contact with pig ear pet treats. And they're not just worried about the dogs here. You could get, they could get you sick as well from just touching the treats. Over the past month, 127 people in 33 states have gotten salmonella and dozens of them had to be hospitalized. Very scary. One of the hottest back to school accessories this year may surprise parents because they are bulletproof backpacks. Yeah, hard to imagine, but it is the harsh reality in an era of numerous school shootings. Our Adriana Mendez takes a look. Inside each of these bulletproof backpacks is a lab report that says what it can withstand against. Well, today we're putting this to the test. It's a horrific reality, and many feel exactly as Anna does, seeing these bulletproof backpacks for sale at local stores. Maybe not shocked, uh, more frustrated and sad. Anna is a mother of two, and she says she wouldn't purchase one of these for her kids. I don't think it's necessary. But other mothers have taken the plunge. Guard Dog Security is a man manufacturer and according to the label the backpacks are resistant against a 9 millimeter handgun and a 44 magnum. If you're in an active shooter situation your first instinct should be to run away from the scenario. You're going to take the backpack, you yank it over the back of your head, you're covering your vital organs. The key component, a Kevlar mesh in the back. It's designed to stop the penetration. We tested this one with a 9 millimeter at 15 feet. A 9 millimeter at really close range wouldn't go through. Then with a 45. I can feel it in there, but it did not penetrate with a 45. And finally with a high velocity rifle. It's really, really super high velocity compared to those handguns. So like we said, went right through. The manufacturer says this is not the ultimate solution, but it's their way of taking a proactive approach and giving kids an extra layer of protection. Yeah, sad reality that those have to exist. The bulletproof backpacks cost about $119 for youth sizes and about $190 for adults. Stick around. Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff joins us with a last look at the forecast that's coming up. Meet the Pig Trail Nation team this Saturday at the Rogers Farmer's Market from 9 a.m. till noon. Lewis Automotive Group in Northwest Arkansas for over 70 years. Visit our website to view current inventory and specials. Just one drop. Go. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Gorilla Super Glue Micro Precise. Of course. Precise application. Controlled dispensing with Gorilla Strength. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Wimpy trash bags. Come on. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Hey, ladies. Buy Hefty Ultra Strong at a low price. Da -da. I wish. Get Hefty Ultra Strong. Cost less than Glad Force Flex were sold head to head. Summer's not stopping or slowing down. So take advantage of all the summer's opportunities with our limited time offers while you still can. <laughs> Hurry into the Acura Summer Performance Event going on now. Visit Acura of Fayetteville for attractive offers on the RDX. Female firefighters. They make up 4% of the fire service. KNWA talks to local women who are paving the way and breaking barriers in this special two part report. Watch Tuesday at 10 on KNWA News. Now, your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott.
Here's a breakdown hour by hour of the next couple of days, and yeah, we have a lot of rain chances in there. We have this weather pattern that's rather active, showers and thunderstorms moving in. Temperatures in the morning starting off in the upper 60s. Now, overnight tonight, the rain chances really start to pick up around sunrise and shortly after. I really hope a lot of this rain and thunderstorm activity remains to the west, but uh, we still have an active weather pattern, so we'll have to continue to watch the rain chances. As we move into the afternoon, the rain chances start to drop off. And then Saturday morning, a repeat performance, almost the exact same thing, but this time maybe the thunderstorm activity a little farther west into eastern Oklahoma. Uh, we've seen a lot of rain for sure. We can use a little bit of rain, but over the weekend, it does appear that flash flooding potential is possible. We have that flash flood watch in effect throughout Saturday evening until 7 o'clock. The second half of the weekend, Sunday looking a lot better. I'll step out of the way so you can see the rest of the seven-day forecast. Temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Don't forget, too, to download our NWA Weather Authority app. It is free on the Apple App Store and Google Play. You can get the latest forecast, forecast updates, and of course it is an ever-changing forecast. And if you're on the go in your car, you can listen to your daily forecast and news updates on these Cumulus radio stations. We'll be right back after the break. Steak and Shake is proud to sponsor KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. If a sandwich needs a little something extra, you add bacon to it. If a sandwich is perfect just the way it is, you add bacon to it. Arby's, we have the meat. Dinosaurs come alive. Embark on your Jurassic adventure with the largest moving, breathing, walking dinosaur. More fun, hands-on, educational activity for the entire family. Ride the giant 12-foot T-Rex. Take the exhilarating virtual reality ride. Play with a baby T-Rex. That's on the loop. Dinosaurs come alive. This Saturday and Sunday, Fort Smith, K. Rogers Park. Free parking for military discounts. Tickets and more info. Visit MyJurassicAdventure.com. Hey Northwest Arkansas, Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. Arkansas's largest furniture destination, get it at Sam's. It's back to school time at Peg Tells and Crew Cuts. Come in for the best haircuts, hair accessories, ear piercing, and gifts galore. At Peg Tells and Crew Cuts, we love our customers. See you soon. What's all this? Finally caught up and ready for the next season. Oh. Contour, find Prime Video. Now get Prime Video and all your favorites on Contour TV. From Cox. Watch Chad Mira on KNWA News at 5, 6, and 10. Welcome back. In case you're just making it home, a look at today's Just Home headlines. A city official is prepared to arrest those in connection to the city's wastewater treatment facility in Bethel Heights. Benton County Prosecuting Attorney Nathan Smith has written a letter to Mayor Cynthia Black. In the letter, Smith says he has seen evidence of wastewater with high levels of fecal coliform flowing from the plant onto people's private property. He's giving Bethel Heights 30 days from today to stop the runoff and implement a cleanup strategy. strategy. KWA is trying to get in touch with Mayor Black about the latest development earlier in the week when we had talked where she had denied any wrongdoing by the city. For the latest on this story, be sure and join us tonight at 6. You can also head to the KNWA News app right now for the most up-to-date information. You can download our app for free. It's in the App Store and on Google Play. Thank you so much for joining us for this half hour of KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. We'll have more news and more weather coming up tonight at 6. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt is next. <laughs>